everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Marvel movie. It's a, a Marvel Cinematic Universe film. It's Black Widow. Now, we saw the trailer for Black Widow maybe a couple months, not too long ago, a few months ago. And it, honestly, it actually looked pretty good, in my honest opinion. I thought it looked interesting. Um... Again, like the character, not I really don't know most of these characters, but uh, like I've heard, like most of the other characters in this movie are like other Black Widows. Like there's multiple type, like people that go under that name. Like you know how James Bond with the Bond movies, something like that. But that's what it kind of reminds me of. And then you have the Red Guardian, kind of like a Captain America esque type character and stuff like that. So. Around the same time, the same day that the Morbius trailer dropped, this trailer dropped. <laughs> so, I had to do a double whammy. Only a day apart filming these. <laughs> but anyways, I might as well just get right into it and see what this special look is all about. It's only 90 seconds. 91 seconds, depending on how you look at it. But anyways, let's just get right into it. So without further ado, let's react to this video, shall we? Natasha, my sister, after all this time, what brings you home? I'm on the run. Yeah. I was trying to do something good. Civil war. You more than just a trained killer. You're fooling yourself. We are still both trained killers. That's this is the first time we actually saw the Taskmaster. He's got like a, his own kind of like Captain America esque type shield. And Taskmaster, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he's anti hero and a sleeper agent. His abilities. Taskmaster injected himself with. You know, what? An elaborate modification of a steroid cortisol designed to unlock the mind's procedural memory potential. Taskma Taskmaster thus gained the ability to absorb knowledge instantaneously. The ability is linked to his muscle memory, allowing the Taskmaster to instantly replicate the physical movement of peak level humans. Using these photographic reflexes, the Taskmaster, Taskmaster is highly skilled in various forms of combat and as an exceptional martial artist. As well as the sprains, a stratenious honed athletic ability. He could predict. He can obviously predict the opponent, his opponent's next move. That's pretty much what Taskmaster is. The only one that he couldn't do predict was Deadpool. <laughs> I think he's also in the Avengers video game. Like I saw like a little demo, gameplay demo of that video game and Task like Black Widow actually fights Taskmaster in that mo in that video game. And also he was also in the Spider-Man video game as well. But then again that video game just got delayed. Like what a surprise. So pretty much that's what 
Taskmaster is. I wonder what his role will be in this movie, if he's going to be the main villain of the movie, or if it's something else entirely. But also, when when Nat Natasha says, I'm on the run, that's referring to Civil War, because Tony Stark said in Civil War that they'll be coming for you. Like, because she turned her back on Team Iron Man to let Steve Rogers, to let Captain America escape to go to Wintery Land <laughs> in Russia. So, that's why she, when she said she's on the run, that's what she's referring to. So, it's going to be interesting, like, will they explain how, why she got blonde hair in Infinity War? Most likely. I don't think there's going to be any post credit scene or anything like that, like, I don't think they would be a post credit scene because what would they be teasing? This is supposedly before Infinity War, so, so I don't know. So, I'm, I'm honestly going to watch this trailer again to see what's really going on, just to get a, another look at it. So, let's get right back into this one. Natasha, my sister. After all this time, what brings you home? I'm on the run. I was trying to do something good. You're more than just a trained killer. You're fooling yourself. Still, both train killers. We have unfinished business. Is we? Still fits. Hmm? Finley, back together again. You got fat. This is going to be interesting, like, what his role will be in the movie. It's going to be interesting what his role will be in this film, but May 1st, that's what we got to look forward to. And, uh, what other, what other Marvel movies do we have, MCU movies do we have to worry about? We got The Eternals. Um, The Eternals is another one. Then you have Doctor Strange at some point, but unfortunately Scott Derrickson, the original director, decided to say fuck it because of created differences. Kind of like another Edgar Wright moment. We could, I can probably blame so we could probably blame Sony for that. Probably the easiest way to like explain the Venom, the Spider Verse, is that movie. I wouldn't be surprised. Like that's the only way you could explain it. Yeah, Phase Four. Yeah, the Infinity Saga, the first three phases. So you have the Black Widow, which is the coming out November six, May May first, twenty twenty. Eternals is November 6th. Shang Li and the Legend of the Ten Rings is February 12th, 2011. 2011, 2021. Fuck. Um, uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, May 7th, 2021. I doubt that because, especially after the whole thing that happened with the director, I doubt it. 
the Untitled Spider-Man Far From Home sequel, July 16th, 2021. No director still, like, John Watts, is he not coming back? I could blame Sony for that one, too. Thor, Love and Thunder, November 5th, 2021. And then you have Black Panther 2 and May 6th, 2022. Isn't Christian Bale supposedly being ta in, is in talks to play that char play a, a character in that movie? I kept hearing rumblings about. Yeah, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. WandaVision, Loki, What If, Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, She-Hulk. There's going to be interesting stuff going on for Marvel. It'll be interesting what uh, other movies they'll have in the works. And I'm pretty sure it's going to really divert. It's just going to turn to more of the Disney Plus series as well. So that's probably it. But with D what now I'm more curious about DC as well. Because isn't the Batman filming right now? I know this is completely... Totally way off and completely off topic, but... Since I'm just looking up movies in particular. Yeah, they started filming recently, so... Sooner or later, we're gonna... Sooner or later, we're gonna find some crappy set photos taken from, like, a another building and from a very far distance of Edward Patterson in his Batman costume. God knows what the costume will look like. It's de most definitely not going to be... Most definitely not going to be similar to what Ben Affleck is. I think it's completely separate from... It's separate. It's not... Not going to be um, connected to the DCEU in a sense. That's what I've heard. Yeah, it's going to be interesting on how they're going to address that. Like, if, if they're trying to make it somewhat connected, I don't think it's going to work. The Batman is intended to be the first of a Batman film trilogy. Yeah, we'll see. First, before you start doing trilogies, let the first film do well. How about that? Let the first film do better. Do Let the first movie do... Let the first one, let the first movie come out first and see how that one does. And if it does well, financially and critically, then, okay, you can po move forward with a another one. And vice versa, you know? I don't know. Anyways, I think overall, going back to the real topic at hand, which is Black Widow, overall, I think the trailer looked really good, and... It's kind of piqued my interest a little bit more, again, with because I'm more curious about Taskmaster as well and stuff like that. And also seeing how they... what ha I'm more curious about what, happen what has happened in between Civil War and this, and Infinity War. Like, this is... that's where... The, when this movie is taking place. So, you never know. But at this point, what are you going to do? Well, honestly, I'm looking forward to this movie, so... Hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. That's honestly it on today's reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure also to check out my Instagram, because I make cool ads on Markiplier, Jack, Septiguy, even myself. I also do enactments and cosplays on there, so go check it out. Even though I haven't done one in God knows how long. Be sure, so be, be sure to also check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRD196 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.